children, a very warm welcome to you all. Thank you for tuning in and watching our lesson. So, I would like you to do one thing for me, okay? Go call your friends, okay? Go call your big brother, go call your big sister, your little brother, your little sister, and let's come together and let's start our lesson together. Are you there, Nathan? Yes, yes. Hannah and your sister, Ona, please call your brother. All the children, all the children, please call your friends, call your neighbors. If they are allowed to, please let them come, okay? So we're going to sing our welcome song together. You will turn to your friend and you sing to them and tell them hello and welcome, okay? Are we ready? Are we ready, children? Good, let's start. Hello, 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 it's nice for me to have you here. So glad you could all come. We will start our lesson today. But before we start, I would like us to pray. Can we pray together? Hands together and eyes closed. Dear Lord, we thank you for yet another opportunity for us to learn together. We pray that you will lead us and help us to learn what you have prepared for us today and help us to grow up to be children that love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. So we're going to start our lesson and I would like you to tell me what we studied last time. Do you remember anything from last time? Do you? Uh-huh. Can you tell everyone else what we studied last time? Yes. We studied about Thanksgiving. We learned about Thanksgiving. What is Thanksgiving? Anybody remember what Thanksgiving is? Thanksgiving is when we show gratefulness, when we are happy that something nice has been done for us, when we are happy that we have done something nice for others. So God wants us to be thankful all the time for all the things he has given us, for all the things he has done for us, even for the things that he will do for us. Yes. Did you do some thanksgiving for, with your parents? Did you say thank you to your parents for giving you food, for buying you a new cloth. Uh -huh. How about for getting you your favorite movie, your favorite cartoon? Yes. How about for just being your mommy and daddy, for being a nice mommy? Yes, even your brother. You give him a hug, you give your sister a hug, give your mommy a hug to say thank you for being the person that they are for you. Okay, today we are going to learn something new. Can you say something new? Something new. Something really, really nice. So, we're going to get to our Bible and we will read a story. Then we can find out what that new thing is. Do you have your Bible? Do you have your Bible? Children, have you got your Bible? I rang the bell three times, and I know you have all got your Bibles. I have mine right here. Let's sing our Bible song, and then we will start our Bible lesson. Are we ready to go? Yes. Good. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. Take your little hand and pat, 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 pat the Holy Bible. One more time. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. Take your little hand and pat, pat, pat. 
Holy Bible story is coming from the book of Luke chapter 2. We will read from verse 1 to verse 7. And the story is about the birth of Jesus Christ. Are we ready? Good. Let me open my Bible. Touch your ears. Touch your ears as you wait for me to open my Bible. Are you touching your ears? Touching your ears? Ready to listen? Good, let's listen. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time a list was made of the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone, everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to Joseph. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a baby boy. She wrapped him up in large clothes. Then she placed him in a manger because there was no room in the inn for them to stay. So our story is about Jesus being born. So children, can we see this together? There was a big list that everyone had to have their name written on. So this is the list that they were going to use. So Joseph and Mary traveled. Here is Joseph and here is Mary. They went, they went to the town of David in Bethlehem of Judea. And while they were there to have their names listed, the baby came. Mary had to give birth. But sadly for them, all the inns, all the rooms, all the guest houses were full. They did not have any space for their child to be born. They did not have any space to stay. So the only remaining room was a stable where animals stay. Do we know what a stable is? Yes, animals stay in a stable. We have horses, we have cows, we have goats, even sheep, they stay in a stable. And in that stable there was a manger and it looked something like this. And you can see the manger is right there. So when Mary gave birth to her baby, she took the baby and wrapped him up in clothes like this and put him in a manger because she did not have a mattress or a little baby crib. She just had the manger and she placed baby Jesus in a manger. So that is how our Lord Jesus was born. Okay. I would like us to share the memory verse together about how Jesus was born. So children, touch your ears again. Have you been listening? Good. Can you tell me which people were in this story? You listened really good to the story. Tell me which people were in the story. Yes, there is Joseph. Who else is in the story? We have Mary, yes, we have Mary in the story. There is another name that was mentioned in the story. Another person in the story, I can give you a clue. They are very little and they were wrapped in a cloth. Yes, it is baby Jesus. So we have those three people in our story today. Who knows, why did Joseph travel all the way to go to Bethlehem? Why did Joseph travel all the way to Bethlehem? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. He traveled all the way to Bethlehem to get listed. Who remembers why Joseph, Mary, and the, the newborn baby Jesus were not in a... a, a who remembers why Joseph, Mary, and Jesus were in a stable? Why were they in a stable? Yes, because there was no room. There was no room in the inn. All the guest houses were so full. Okay, so do you know, children, that you, just like Jesus, were also born by your mother? Yes, your mommy gave birth to you. Now, I have a small assignment I would like you to do with me. You will answer some of these questions with the help of your mommy or your daddy, and then you will uh, do a small project, okay? Now, before we do all that, okay, children, I have a special song I would like us to sing together. You know the tune, you have sung it before or you have heard someone sing it somewhere. But I would like you to listen carefully to the words that tell us about how Jesus is our friend, Jesus is our savior, okay? Baby Jesus, baby Jesus, born to memory verse for today. Are we ready? I would like everybody, everybody to do this with me. Our memory verse is from the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 7. Can you repeat after me? Luke chapter 2 Luke chapter 2 and verse 7. And verse 7. She gave birth to her firstborn. She gave birth to her firstborn. Do like me, like this. She gave birth to her firstborn. She gave birth to her firstborn. A son. A son. She wrapped him in clothes. She wrapped him in clothes. She wrapped him in clothes. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger. 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 Because there was no room for them. 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 In the inn. In the inn. In the inn. In the inn. Can we do that together one more time? Yes. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. And verse 7. And verse 7. 
She gave birth to her firstborn. She gave birth to her firstborn. A son. A son. She wrapped him up in clothes. She wrapped him up in clothes. And placed him in a manger. And placed him in a manger. Because there was no room for them. Because there was no room for them. In the inn. In the inn. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. And verse 7. And verse 7. Good job. You did well. Thank you for saying that memory verse with me. So. Babies, boys and girls, children, just like Jesus, we were all born, you and me, I have a mommy, you have a mommy, you have a mommy, you have a mommy, every one of us has a mommy, we were all born like Jesus. But our stories are different, we were not born in a manger, mm -mm. no, some of us were born in a matoke plantation, some of us were born along the way to hospital. Some people were born in hospital. And we would like to know where you were born. Now, let's uh, listen to Nathan as he tells us about how he was born. What is your name? My name is Nathan Hailelhiroba. Nathan Hailelhiroba. Yes. So, did you know that you were born? Uh. Answer? Yes. Did you know that you were born? Yes. Now, where were you born? In the hospital. In the hospital. Good. Now, when you were born, did mommy give you some clothes? No. Put on, put, hold your microphone so I can hear you. Yes. Did you have some clothes when you were born? Yes. Show me pictures of clothes here. Good. Now, when you were born, yes. What what did Daddy use to take us home? A car. Ah, Daddy used the car to drive us and take us back home. Yes. So when you grow up, what do you want to become? A baby. You want to become a baby? No. Babies don't grow up. When you grow up, what will you become? A baby. You still want to become a baby, not a builder like these men? I want to become a builder. You want to become a builder? Yes. Now you hold your microphone like this. Not like that, you hold like that. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, when, when you grow up, what do you want to become? A builder. You, are, you become a builder. What else will you become? A builder. A builder, uh-huh. And another thing? A girl. No, you'll not become a girl. So, on Sunday, yes. when we go to pray, where do we go to pray? To church. We go to pray to church. To Thank church. You. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Give me five. Good. Boys and girls, are you there? Yes. Now, I would like to know who was listening, huh? If you were listening to the story, you will tell me something, okay? Do you know the names of the people who are in this story? Yes, we have. No, Adam is not there in the story, no. There's no Adam. Someone is saying Adam, no. We have Joseph, yes, we have Mary, who can tell us the third person? They are a little baby. What is the little baby's name in the story? He is called baby Jesus, yes. Our story has got three people. Three is like this, Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus, and in what town was Jesus born? Yes, he was born in Bethlehem. When Jesus was born, he was born in a stable. Can somebody tell me why he was born in a stable? Ah, yes, thank you very much, Hannah, yes. 
Jesus was born in a stable because there was no room in the inn. All the inns were full. All the guest houses were full. That's why Jesus was born in an inn. Thank you very much. So, like Nathan, I would like you all to take part in a small activity. Uh, you will work with your mommy and daddy. We are going to share a link in this video uh, where you can get mommy and daddy or somebody big in the house can help you print out pictures, a picture of a hospital, a picture of a church, a picture of baby clothes, nice little baby clothes, a picture of a car, yes, and a picture of a star. So like Nathan, you will tell us whether you were born in a hospital, you tell us the hos what, that you were born in hospital. If you were born uh, in Kampala, you tell us you were born in Kampala. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, yes. If you were, uh, 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 you were picked from hospital in a car, you tell us, yes, we went home from hospital in a car. So you color the pictures and paste them out on a piece of uh, manila or hardboard at home. It will have your, the story of your birth right there. Thank you, children. It is now time to end our lesson, and we're going to pray. Okay? So before we pray, we will sing together our song of prayer. Okay? Are we ready to sing? Yes. God is listening, God is listening, when we God, thank you for our lesson today. Thank you for giving us Jesus our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you children for being with me today. And this is the end of our lesson today. Can we say our goodbyes in song? Yay. Are we ready to say goodbye? Goodbye, 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 Hello, children. It is a new month. And one month to Christmas. We are so eager. As usual. Yes, we have started a new month. But before we continue, let's first pray. Hands together. Eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for every child that's watching us here. We ask that, Lord, you bless them. You guide us in everything we are going to do. We pray that it shall be done for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. And now let's hover to the music room for, for praise and worship. Hands together. Eyes closed. Father Lord, I thank you for this beautiful morning. I, I thank you for the people that are watching us. I pray that they'll be blessed from this session. Lord Father, give us strength and energy to do it. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. 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 Welcome children to our online service. Join us as we worship and praise our Lord.
cannot stop singing about his love. He's so good to us. All around us, we see his love, how he cares about us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. glad that we could have an opportunity to praise the Lord. And now I am ready for the icebreaker. Oh, yes, I, I see. Am. Let's go for it. Yes. Uncle Dennis, yes? have you ever eaten bread? Yes, I have. How does it taste? So yummy, delicious. Oh. Mm. So have good. you ever baked one before? No. No. Let's now let's learn how to bake it. Yes. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Show me that you're ready. I am ready. I are ready? I am ready. I am ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is how we plant a seed. Plant a seed. Plant a seed. This is how we plant a seed to make a bread in the morning. Ooh. This is how we plant a seed. Plant a seed. Plant a seed. This is how we plant a seed to make a bread in the morning. This is how we cut a wheat, cut a wheat, cut a wheat. This is how we cut a wheat to make a bread in the morning. This is how we cut a wheat, cut a wheat, cut 
our wheat. This is how we cut our wheat to make our bread in the morning. This is how we grind our wheat, grind our wheat, grind our wheat. This is how we grind our wheat hey. to make our bread in the morning. This is how we grind our wheat, grind our wheat, grind our wheat. This is how we grind our wheat to make our bread in the morning. This is how we knit the dough, knit the dough, knit the dough. Yeah. This is how we knit the dough to make our bread in the morning. Ooh. This is how we knit a dough, knit a dough, knit a dough. This is how we knit a dough to make our bread in the morning. Out. <sighs> Breathe in and out. <sighs> now let's head over to Teacher Jerome for our learning activity session. Yay! children welcome to our lesson for today this month of november we have a very interesting theme which is god's love and i hope you're ready for our lesson so i want you to go get your bible notebook and pen so that you can get started now before we start our lesson let us start with a word of prayer hands together and eyes closed Lord Father, we thank you for this wonderful day, this wonderful month, and we pray, Father, that you may be with us. Open our hearts and speak to us. We understand your word. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Now, if you've just prayed with me, I hope you are now ready for our lesson. Having a very wonderful word, which is John chapter 3, verse 16. It tells us of how God loved us so much that he gave us his one and only son, his one and precious son. And if you believe in him, you'll have eternal life. Now, I want you to imagine something. Imagine having a gold coin that you've kept for so long, and then you pass by a shop and you want to buy chocolate. And they tell you, if you want this chocolate bar, you have to give us that gold coin. And then you look at the gold coin, and also look at the chocolate. But because of your love for that chocolate bar, you give out the gold coin. So even God also looked at us, and because of his love for us, he said, no, let me give my precious son to you so that I can get you, so that he can get us. So God gave us his precious son because of his love. He had so much love for us that he said, that, no, I shall not let my people perish. But... Let me offer my son, my one and only son. It is a tough decision when you give something precious and you're going to give it away. But God chose us, which is something very interesting. Now, there are a key and a number of points I want us to note. The first one is God's love 
couldn't let us be destroyed or perish. God's love couldn't let us perish. His love was so deep for us that he took a step to come for us, that he took a step to come and rescue us, which is giving us his precious son, giving us his precious child. And that child is Jesus. So our second is, out of his love, he gave us what was precious to him. Now, out of his love, he chose to give us what was precious to him so that we can take his place and then Jesus takes our punishment. So now, when he exchanged that, he brought us closer to him because Jesus Christ took our punishment, which now brings us closer to God as children of God. So he actually made us his children and he brought us close to us. Now let us see how, so we are going to see how God's love actually helps us. But actually before that, our third is nothing can separate us from God's love. Now when we look at Romans chapter 8, verse 38, it tells us that in all creation, nothing will separate us from the love of God in all existence. It actually goes and tells us that, for I'm convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present or the future, nor the power or any powers, neither height or depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So now, this shows us that the love of God is firm and deep in us. So how does that make us feel? When you know that you're loved by God, when you know that you're treasured by God, that you are God's special son or daughter, how does that make you feel? That makes you feel special, and that makes us respect God even more. So I hope now you've learned something. We're now going to go for an interesting activity that will help us understand this even more. And I hope you're going to enjoy it as we go on. Okay, so I hope you're ready for the activity for today. And we're going to be making something beautiful that looks like this. And after that, we're going to be writing our scripture on it. So, before even we start, I'm going to tell you the things that we need in order to make something that looks like this. So one, we need press and paper and you're going to cut out hearts. So you can do as many colors as you like. I used purple and red. And also need other fluorescent papers of this size and shape. So with that, we then also need wood glue and a brush. and also a pair of scissors. We're going to be doing some cutting. And also markers, because at the end we shall be writing. So now I think with that, let's get started. So we are going to get our blue present paper. It's quite shorter than this red one, you can see. So we're going to get our blue, and then we put it right here. So we are going to use nine hearts, but different colors. So you can first count them. There's a six, eight, and then nine. Good. So once we have this, it's time now to get started. So now after counting our hearts, we are going to grab our brush and wood glue like this. And then we start. Now, we're going to start from right here next to the edge. That's where we're going to start here. So we put a wood glue like this. And then we place our heart carefully on top. Then we get another color. We used purple, this time we go for red. Place it right on top. We go for purple. That's right. Then we go for red this time. 
place it right on top. Go for purple, and then red, and then purple, and then red. And then lastly, we are going to put purple. So then you let it dry. So I now grab this longer pressing paper and put it like this. So but before that we have to make a shape like this. So we grab our pair of scissors and do some cutting. Just cut like a letter V. That's it. So after cutting this, I just pull it up here. And then I put some wood glue on the top part of the red frozen paper. Okay, then I let it dry. So as our work is drying, we're going to get a plain piece of paper. Now, we're just going to fold it like this. Make sure the edges align. Then again, fold it one more time. Like this. Now, you can use anything round. I'm going to use the cover of the wood glue. Then you get your pencil and make circles. That's one. That's two. And then our last one will come here. So after drawing these circles, we're going to get a pair of scissors and then cut them out. One is done. You can first cut off these to make it simpler. Then I also cut it like this. Two. This is our last one. And we're done. So the reason why we folded it so that we can get many of the same shape. That's why we folded our paper. So then we can put this away. So we get our, our fluorescent papers. So we're now just going to paste these ones onto the hearts. Place it gently. Like this. Let's put it right here. Get our next one. So we lift this hat and put it right over here. Like this. Get our next one, then we put some wood glue after that and get it gently and then we place this right here. Get another one.
That's right. So you can even make something longer and then give it many hearts depending on what you want to write. So after doing this, we now have a beautiful artwork that looks like this. Now it's time to grab our markers, our pens, and do writings. So we can go for color red. I also have green, I also have blue. So you can choose any color you want. So we're going to start with the scripture. <clears throat> and we're going to be writing John 3.16. So let me, use, let me use red for the scripture. All right, John. John 3.16 on our first circle then I use blue for the words so it says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life or everlasting life so we have eight and the words at least let's be writing four four words Per paper. Then we also change the next one is green for God so loved. Then we write the world that he Then again is blue. That he he gave his one and His one and only son. He gave his one and only son. Have a comma there. That whoever believes in him. Is in him shall shall not go for green again. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have. eternal life. That's right. So now we are now done with our scripture here. And it says, John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have a eternal life. That's right. So you can also do this for other scriptures and you do something like this and put your scriptures and make sure you memorize them like this. So I hope now you've enjoyed this activity. I hope you've taken time to do it with me. And I hope also you've learned something that God's love is everlasting. God's love is eternal. That God loves us so much that he chose to give us his one and only and precious son that we could be called children. 
So isn't he a wonderful God? Isn't he an awesome God? Yes, I think he is. So for those who have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can repeat this simple prayer after me so that you can join the family of God. Hands together and eyes closed. Father Lord, we thank you for this day. We ask that you may forgive us for all that you have done. I believe and accept that you died and rose again. Come into my heart. You are my savior. In Jesus' name I've prayed, amen. If you have just prayed that simple prayer, you have now joined the family of God. And I hope you now feel good and you can now also rejoice in God's blessings. So now, it's time for us to end this lesson. And now, let me say a word of prayer as we conclude this lesson. Hands together, eyes closed. Father, Lord, thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you, Lord, for telling us how much you love us. Thank you, Lord, for sending your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness to us, Father, King of Glory. Pray that you may be with us in this month of November. And we pray for your guidance in everything that we do. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Yes, that's all I had for you today. Bye. Now, it's time for us to go through our memory, memory verse. verse. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Teacher Angel. Yes. What is our memory verse? Our memory verse is mm -hmm. John chapter 3, verse 16. Tell me what it says when your eyes are closed. Oh. Yes. John chapter 3, verse 16 says, mm -hmm. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his one and only Son, mm -hmm. that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have an eternal life. Dick! Now, let's do with actions. Are you ready? We are ready. Are you ready? Both you ready. Like right, let's go. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. One more time, can we go? Yes. Okay. John chapter 3, verse 16. What does it say? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Wow, children, that was good. Thank you, teacher. Angel. Yes, and as we draw close to the end of this service, Please do remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time we upload a new service. And don't forget to wear your mask, wash your hands, and keep social distance. Yes. Yes. Until next time. Bye-bye.